This morning reading is from John chapter 10, verse 29 to 33. God bless the reading of his holy word this morning. As he, we journeyed with him and in him. In Jesus' name. 29. My father was given. John chapter 10, 29. My father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my hand, out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you from my father, for which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered them, saying, For good work we do not stone you, but for blaspheme, because you being a man, make yourself God. God bless the reading of his old word this morning. Mm -hmm. huh. My father was given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can snatch them out of my father's hand. The good news this morning for me and you, no matter what the devil tried or is trying, whether by intimidation, no matter by what means he's trying, we are in God's hand. We are not keeping ourselves. If not, we would have already fallen away. But the good news is this morning is that God is keeping us. And if God is keeping us, ain't no one can touch us. Amen? Amen. That's the good news this morning. We are not keeping ourselves. We are not keeping ourselves, beloved. If it was left up to us, we would have fallen away in sin slapped to and fro by the devil until there is nothing left of us. Amen? Because the angel, the devil, is a powerful being. He is not playing. He is, his job is to steal, kill, and destroy. So if any evidence or sign of God and he get an opportunity to destroy any such soul, he's going to do it. So this morning, the good news is that when you see a lot of people around us falling apart and dying and they don't understand this truth and this, this mystery and about the Lord Jesus Christ and our love for the Lord and our passion for the Lord and we seek in the Lord, if they only know, as the songwriter says, the blessing that salvation brings, <laughs> glory to God, if they only know the blessing that salvation brings, Beloved, if you don't hear anything else this morning, know that because you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, it is not you keeping yourself, but God is keeping you. No matter what the enemy try, look at them, devil, you can't touch me. God is keeping me. Amen. Let him know in his face, that's how much faith you have. Because the word said it, so you can stand on it. Amen? Amen? Stand on God's word. That's your foundation. That's your foothold. That's your flooring. Amen? This morning, God is keeping you. Verse 30. I and my father are one. It pays to walk in the spirit and to be led by the power of the Holy Spirit. So you can see spirit and not images. Because you see... A lot of us are in trouble because of our ignorance, spiritual ignorance and spiritual blindness. Because a lot of time we get ourselves attached to things and attached to people and not realize the, the, the spiritual connection to it. A lot of time people have, have clothes that they wear or clothes that they have and things that they have and, 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 and people they are connected to. And they think it's just a thing. Or the clothes. For instance, uh, it was the, the, uh, Paul as an, an handkerchief. And Paul, the, the connection of the power from Paul by the power of the Holy Spirit and Paul's life was connected to the handkerchief that he could throw it on a person and they'd be ill. When Elijah was being sent up into, uh, uh, into the heavens by the chariots of fire, his disciple, Elisha, asked of him his mantle belt around his waist. And he said to him, when I'm leaving, if you see me when I'm leaving, you'll get it. 
So Elisha was very attached to attach up to him at that moment. So the moment the chariot of fire came to snatch him, the mantle belt was thrown to him. And he was able to use that mantle belt and divide the river Jordan. Are you hearing me this morning? Spirits are connected to a lot of things. I just are connected to a lot of things. So hearing, because they all they see was a man and not the spirit. What they were ready to do in verse 32, the Jews took up stones, 31, again, to stone him. Why? Because of this spiritual blindness and ignorance. Beloved, I would ask of you this morning, if anything you ever do on the spiritual journey, as you seek and as you yield to the Holy Spirit to make you holy as he is holy, is to ask of God to illumine your mind and your heart to his word, to give you a passion for his word, to study his word, to be in his word, as he illumined the word and make you knowledgeable and destroy the darkness of ignorance from your mind. And, and as you journey, ask of him to hold up your spiritual eyes so you can see within the spiritual realm. Now, the thing about the spiritual realm is that you're going to see some things. You're going to see a lot of things. Yes, you will. Number one, God is going to show you you. Before you show you anything about anyone or anything that's going on in the realm. He's going to show you you. Yes. He's going to show you your weaknesses. He's going to show you what's troubling you, what's bothering you, what you need to get rid of. That you need to submit to him. Because there are a lot of things going on in our life. We have a lot of weaknesses. We have a, things, we have a lot of things we are struggling with. But we can't take our hands and just throw them in the fire and consume them and we become old. No. But we can give them, when the Holy Spirit reveal those things to us as our spiritual eyes are being opened, we can say, Lord, take this from me. Take this weakness from me. Take this thing that I'm struggling with from me. And you keep on asking because a lot of time it's not that God is not faithful. It's a lot of time is that our, our faith is so is weak. So we have to keep on asking until our, our faith is built up to be connected to the faithfulness of God because God wants us to be mature. God don't want us to remain children so that everything we ask of him, he give it to us. We become like some spoiled children. Everything they ask of the parents, you, you know, the parents give it to them. So they, a lot of them never grow up. Amen. <laughs> a lot of them never grow up. They become brat, rude, irresponsible, unaccountable. And they carry on it through their adult life. But for us this morning, ask of the Lord that he home up your spiritual eyes so that you may see the spirits, so that you may see in the spiritual realm. And as he revealed to you about yourselves and you begin to begin to give, submit these things to him and you begin to die daily, you begin to yield and walk in humility and in love of him, pursuing him, he will show you and as he shows you these things, and as you're being purified and you're being mature now, become responsible, he will begin to show you things about others and about the spiritual realm and about his word. He'll begin to show you some things. Why you have to be mature? Because he will show you things about people. And you cannot go blurting it out. That's lack of wisdom. And people will kill you. They will take your head off. <laughs> so you have to be mature enough so that when he reveals to you these things and you know these things about, about people, you reserve yourself in yourself because you have to do one or two things. You have to intercede for them if you love them. You have to intercede for them, constantly interceding for them and pray for them, but never, ever, ever go blurting out because now you're able to see. That's maturity. Amen. You have to be able to intercede for them because a lot of time he revealed to you these things so you can intercede and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So we must ask of us. So the Jews have a problem. Because they're spiritual, blind and ignorant, they see all they see was a man. I pray this morning as you journey the spiritual journey and your spiritual eyes become open, you will see the truth of who Jesus Christ really is. That this was God in the flesh. God, who is a spirit, was in the flesh. This flesh, the thing about our flesh and, the, and, 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 and our body and the body of Jesus Christ, the body of the Son, is this. Our body have a tendency to function apart from our spirit. The Bible says our spirit struggles with our flesh and our flesh war with our body. 
it's almost like a schizophrenic things going on one moment you you do sometimes a lot of time you do things that you're like man what did i just do how did i do this because a lot of time you will operate your, your two, two separate part of you but not so with the lord jesus christ nothing that god the holy spirit was doing in this body everything that this body does was god doing it every speech every word every language every emotion every movement was God. It was fully, it, it every single part of it, everything about him was fully God operating and functioning in this body. He never does nothing. This body could never do nothing apart from itself. Everything it does was of the Father. So he, could, he can say it. I and the Father are one. The good news about this now, when we see this, is that the Lord Jesus Christ is an example for us, a standard for us, for all we fall short of the glory of God. So he now has come to give us that gift of the Holy Spirit to bring us back to the glory and the standard from which we are fallen, which is the standard by which he is demonstrating to us the Son. So how do we get this and how do we get to this level to be like this? It is through the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit want to do to us as he does in Christ Jesus. That's why it is very important for every child of God, as we study God's word, we must have such a relationship with the Holy Spirit, with God, such a relationship that day by day, we are dying to self, we are dying to flesh, and more and more, God is ruling and reigning in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. We must become God's vessels. We must become God's vessel. God is looking for, for laborers instruments that he can use in the in, in the garden this world is loaded with people on their way to hell and god is looking for instruments of power that he can empower and equip and give power to the very gifts that is in first corinthians uh, 12 4 to 11 we must pray to it for these gifts so we can walk in these gifts on this power so that the world can see and know who we are so they can know the standard by which god is requiring of them to be so they will not go to hell this morning. Are you hearing me? So beloved this morning, beloved this morning, as the Lord says, I and my Father are one. Let us not walk in spiritual ignorance and spiritual blindness, please. We must seek the Spirit. We must seek the Holy Spirit. We must peace submit to the Holy Spirit. We must yield to the Holy Spirit. Because where there is spiritual ignorance and spiritual blindness, we can be tossed to and fro by the enemy. We can be tossed to and fro. We can manipulate, play games, deceive, all this that we can do all kind of crazy, immature nonsense. Because we are walking in the flesh and not in the spirit. This morning, make it. Uh, be accountable, be responsible to submit your life daily more and more to the Holy Spirit, to God himself. Because when you are doing so, you are allowing God to have more and more of your life. Because as much as he loves us, he cannot force us. We have a will to choose. Will you choose he this day, the Lord Jesus Christ? Choose him this day. So the Jews answered him in verse 32 and says, Jesus answered them, many good works have I shown you from my father. That's what, that, what he does. For which of those works do you stone me? <laughs> That's true. Everything he does is of, is of God. So you tell me now, why are you going to stone me? If I don't do nothing of myself and it's, 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 it's the spirit working through me, go deal with the spirit. There's an old saying in Jamaican language that I don't normally remember them. They say, can't catch quash, you catch him shut. <laughs> That's just what it is right here. Can't catch quiet, you catch him shut. But then again, by the mercies of God, because of this spiritual ignorance they're, that they're doing, they're about to do this. I wanted to do this, but God will not allow it because it was not his time yet. Verse 33, the Jews answered him saying, for good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, because you being a man, that's what they see him as. Make yourself God. There is their mistake. There is their ignorance. Now you see where they're at. I pray this day, beloved, for your sake, for your own safety. I ask of God to walk in the Spirit, be led by the Holy Spirit, so you can see in the Spirit. 
because of the Holy Spirit said earlier on through my mouth. There are things, could be a pen, that is connected to people whose spirit is not of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can go there and mess with it and contaminate it. Be contaminated. There are things, there are, there are pictures, there are clothes, there are things. <coughs> That's why it pays to walk in the spirit. Sometimes some people try to give you gift and you're not comfortable about it. But for some reason you feel obligated to take it from them. Sometimes you better be bold enough to say, no, I'm fine. <laughs> thank you. Be nice to them. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. May God bless you. Bless them. Because what is connected to it, you take it and bring it into your house and your house become messed up. The energy in your house. I believe it was that the other day we were reading, reading a story about this man called Aiken who took all the spoils of the enemy and bring it into his, to his house. And, and, and it began to disturb the whole Israel. And Israel began to lose wars and victories and begin to lose. And they, they try to find out what is going on. God said, because someone in, in, in the camp, 